Hi guys, this is Senpai Tristan here with your first virtual Kali lesson. We know that this has been a hard time not being able to come to class, so we thought we would give you some skills to work on. So to start, we're going to talk about the stick a little bit. This is the baston. You know that the uh, art of Kali is in Spanish. It comes from the Philippines. The way to hold it is I want to put it under one arm. I hold it with my dominant hand. I take this other arm, I snake it underneath. I put it right over here, and this is how I should go if I'm walking around. All right. When I want to take the stick out, I simply lift up my one arm, I reach with my dominant hand, and I step out to a guard. All right. When I'm bowing in Kali, I do one of th I do three things. I touch my heart. I go down. This represents the earth, and I reach up. That represents heaven. All right. Now let's start with some skills to work on. We're going to start on the ground, like this. All right, we're going to hold this stick out. We're going to work on some finger exercises to start. You want to climb all the way up the stick. Try not to use the palm of your hand at all. Try to use your fingers. I climb all the way down. And when I'm done, I switch to my left hand. I do the same thing. Next skill, I'm just going to try and flip the stick and catch it. Don't use your wrist too much. You'll end up taking out a ceiling lamp. Just flip and try and catch. And switch hands. Make sure you use your left as well. You want to make sure that you can be dominant in both hands. I can switch as well. All right. Now when you're holding a stick, make sure you have one fist length from the bottom. This is called my puño. This can be used for a whole lot of stuff. It can be used for hooking, it can be used for hitting, and it keeps you from having your stick fly out of your hand. Make sure you have one fist length at least from the bottom of your stick here. All right. We're gonna go over some skills standing. The first skill we're gonna go over is called redundo. You're going to spin the stick like this. Now, as I do this, when you're holding your stick, you want to make sure that you hold it not too tight, that it just stays stiff, and I don't want to hold it so loose that I end up dropping it. Pretend it's like a bird in your hand. All right? When I want to switch hands, I put this behind my back, I take this hand over, I grab, I switch to this side, I work on redundo on my left hand. I can do redundo across the middle. And up and down. All right. The next skill is abanico, which means fan. I take the stick, I put it on top of my head. My wrist is going to move in this motion. And most importantly, I want to turn my body when I do it. This is for short distance, for a very close range attack. And as always, make sure to practice it on both sides. The next skill is called Floretta. I take the stick, I spin it as if I'm spinning a plate. I make a small circle that builds up some momentum and gives me some power with a strike. And switch hands. All right, now when you're working with stick, there are two different types of strikes. There is what is known as a lob tick, where I go right through whatever I'm attacking. I go from one side all the way to the other, all the way through my target. The other strike is called a wood tick. I hit, and it bounces off whatever I hit. Now when you're working with stick, this is an extension of your body. I want to make sure that I'm reaching here. 
I don't want to have my arms really close. I want to make sure that I'm reaching, that I'm extending. All right. So now we're going to work on the first seven drills, Kali one through seven. I want to make sure I have a guard. I have my back hand up here. I have my other arm out here. First drill is Kali Uno. I start up on my right shoulder. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. The next one is Kali Dose. Here, one, two, and I use a type of floretti here. I make a circle that goes around my head and I hit low. Now in Kali, I can have an open posture or a closed posture. In Kali Dos and Kali Trace, you'll see a closed posture. This is Kali Dos closed. I start from the opposite side. One, two, floretti. Kali Trace. Start up on my shoulder. One, two, I bring this up here, I'm going to use that abanico, I turn, abanico, I turn, abanico, I square myself, and I strike straight down. From a closed posture, start from the opposite side, two, one, abanico, abanico, strike center. Kali Quattro works on my redundo. All right, I start on this side, I make a circle, I turn my body, I do two circles forward here, and I circle across the middle. Looks like this. Kali Cinco. I start on my shoulder, I do a number one strike, the stick comes up here, I abanico quick, I poke, I'm going to do a floretti here. This goes around my head and I strike. Kali Sace is a long one. It's all about retracing your steps. I start on my shoulder. I make a strike diagonal down. I retrace my step. I go right back up. I go to the middle. I go right back. I go up. I strike back down. I'm going to do a floretti here. I come across my head. I go down. I go back up, to the middle, to the middle, up, back down, floret. Right? Kali Siete. I come across, I lower my stick here, this is a low wing block. I turn my hips, I abanico, and I strike. Alright? Now we're going to do it on the left side. I take the stick behind my arm, I grab, I can step forward, I can step back, I just want to make sure that I have my left leg in front. All right, with the left side, Kali Una. Kali Dos. Closed. Kali Trace. Closed. Kali Quattro. Kali Cinco. Kali Seis. Kali Siete. I'm done. I bow. Touch heart to the earth, heaven, I take my stick, I 
put it back in my beginning position. And that is your first lesson. Please practice and stay safe during this time. Thank you.